Just 12 days into the final votes, voters turning out in record numbers to cast their ballots early. At least 44 million Americans have already voted. That's approaching one third of the total turnout four years ago. And with less than two weeks to go, we want to get to that new warning about Russia and Iran meddling in the election. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, is in Washington with the very latest on those threatening emails targeting American voters. Good morning, Pierre. Michael, good morning. Two of America's enemies, Iran and Russia, now accused of trying to steal voter information to influence the upcoming election. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi will be briefed later today, while other top Democrats who've seen the intelligence are expressing alarm, even as questions are being raised this morning about how this disturbing development was disclosed to the public last night. In a hastily arranged press conference, the directors of National Intelligence and the FBI announcing that Russia and Iran have stolen information about American voters in an attempt to meddle in the upcoming U.S. election. This data can be used by foreign actors to attempt to communicate false information to registered voters that they hope will cause confusion, sow chaos, and undermine your confidence in American democracy. A senior government official familiar with the new intelligence telling ABC News that Iran and Russia were able to target and exploit state and local election databases to obtain voter contact information, including names and addresses. We are not going to tolerate foreign interference in our elections or any criminal activity that threatens the sanctity of your vote or undermines public confidence in the outcome of the election. ABC News has learned some of the new intelligence centers around a series of emails sent to an unknown number of voters in Florida that claim to be from the Proud Boys, but whose sources say are actually from Iran. An example obtained by ABC News reads, We are in possession of all your information. You are currently registered as a Democrat. You will vote for Trump on Election Day or we will come after you. One alleged recipient of the email fearing for her safety. When you first read that somebody has your address and that they would like to come after you, my first thought was like, oh my God, am I safe? Some of the Proud Boys, an ultra-right-wing organization which critics have described as racist, have embraced Trump's re-election. Trump 2020! A number of intelligence officials believe that framing the Proud Boys for voter intimidation would reflect poorly on President Trump. Some Democrats disagree. I did not get the impression it was aimed at any political figure and... Uh, I'm surprised that DNI Radcliffe said that at the at, at this press conference. It was rather done to undermine confidence in our elections. Some critics of Radcliffe are pointing to his omission of that specific threat against Democratic voters as playing politics. And authorities are deeply concerned with what the Russians might be planning to do with the stolen voter information given their success in the 2016 election. George? You know they have been active. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.